Yeah, this may be one of the best BYU receiving corps the Cougars have ever had, mainly because they got not one Nakua transfer, but two, Puka and Samson Nakua, both transferred to BYU this offseason, all because of a strong family bond. It had to be a very good reason for Samson Nakua to leave his beloved Utes for BYU and for highly touted Puka Nakua to leave Washington to join the Cougars. It was. Their grandma had cancer and wanted her boys back in Provo. Coming back to be home with family, for sure. Um, grandma was uh, sick. Um, Mama was going through a lot trying to help grandma. And me and Puka were talking while we were out there. It was like, dang, bro, we haven't played with each other in a long time, like since Pee Wee football. And it was perfect timing for everything. Their older brother, Kai, was a star at BYU. And their dad, Lionel, who passed away in 2012, always wanted his sons to play for the Cougars. My dad, honestly, it kind of started with him, of him having an idea of all of us brothers being able to play at the same school. And it started with Kai coming here to BYU. But then my grandma, my mom's mom, she, she used to come to my games in high school and stuff. But it was never a fan of really coming outside the house. But she's like, if you guys were to come play at BYU, I'll be there every game. So she said that. And we were like, all right, we'll be there. <laughs> always got to listen to mama. And then if mom's mom says something, it, it's, there's no hesitating there. That's law. That's yeah. law. For Samson, the hardest part about leaving Utah for BYU was having to cut his trademark locks. Facts, that was definitely the hardest, man. My heart was broken when I had to cut my hair. You saw how majestic the flow was, man. Majestic. <laughs> man, it was so beautiful. I was sad. But in all actuality, it was an emotional decision. That whole week leading up to it, like, if you probably even asked the guys, I was bawling my ass out every day in the locker room because I knew what was best for me and my family, but to step away from my teammates, my brothers like that, after five years of grinding with these guys was definitely the hardest decision, And uh, but they supported me. After setting numerous state records at Orem High, Puka just wanted to leave home. And after two seasons at Washington, Puka realized how much he missed Utah. And I loved Utah, but it took me to leave Utah to realize how much I really loved it. Having the mountains, the waking up and check, see, look out from my front house and see the Y on the mountain, it's beautiful. It's a sight that I love and I, I took for granted, definitely. Now, for the first time since they were little kids, Samson and Puka are on the same team. But that sibling rivalry isn't going anywhere. Whenever you ever catch us at the Provo Rec or just like wherever, pickleball, like wherever me and Puga, when we get together and play, we elevate each other's game to a next level. It brings out the best and the worst. <laughs> That's the thing is he, out of anybody, would know how to push my buttons the most. We played against each other in high school, and I'll never forget that because I wanted to win so bad. The little brother role still is in effect. I was like, man, I thought I would at least get it one time, but it didn't happen. But we're four-time state champs now. So. <laughs> <laughs> how often do you remind me of that? <laughs> a lot, a lot. Every day, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love the brotherhood there. The only person happier than their grandma, maybe, oh. Kalani Satake. Oh, huh? you think? This BYU <laughs> receiving court is going to be really, really good. They were already going to be good. And then you add the Nakua brothers. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, they're going to be deadly. And they are on the field together for the first time since Pee Wee Ball. That's wow. unbelievable. Yeah. They're going to be fun to watch. I don't know about Samson having to cut his hair, though. Yeah. We'll have Name to see like how that Samson, plays out. You think BYU would make an exception, <laughs> but not even for Samson. Not even. And they were beautiful, Loxie had going Majestic, on there. as he <laughs> called them. <Yes. laughs>